I'm going to play about a two-minute interview with Leonard during that Cowboys for Indians concert I mentioned Willie Nelson from Leavenworth, and uh, and then basically that'll be it. Uh, I got some quotes and some bumper stickers, T-shirts, things like that. Obviously, we have uh, the show at least go on. But if anyone wants any information, I have a petition most of all. Believe it or not, we've gathered over 17 million signatures worldwide for Leonard's release. But it has not been enough. We send it in a way. Has asked us to continue to get them. So we just ask if people would sign that petition. We have something to take. We have some literature. Uh, Lynette has some literature, all, not only on Leonard, but on Big Mountain, where uh, 10,000 Navajos are being forcibly removed. It's a case that's a great concern of Leonard's. Uh, but I think what Leonard's referring to is this, the, the James Bay situation in northern Canada where they're flooding thousands of square miles because Quebec Hydro wants to do a big multi-billion dollar money deal. And the federal court just said they weren't going to do that. Well, we, we get these victories like that every so often, but uh, I have a, a Cree friend from a place called Moose Factor in southern James Bay. He says they're going ahead. I mean, we get court orders every so often. It looks like they're going to stop, but the pressure has to be maintained. You know, I, it, it, we, it, 
I'm beginning to learn, like yourself, you read something in the New York Times or whatever, it looks good. No, I'm talking to people from up there. The, 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 court, the Canadian court has said that they have to do all the studies that they said they didn't have to do. And, uh, so do you feel like it's going to stop? Yeah, I do. I believe we have been effective in this case. Well, that's good. That's good. Uh, Chippewa Spear Fisherman, Lacta Flambeau, Wisconsin, uh, on and on and on, right here in the state, Mashpee, Wampanoag's hunting and fishing rights, land rights. Uh, there are other things people can do. Uh, Congressman Kennedy, young Congressman Kennedy, is uh, expressing interest in Leonard Bay inquiries about his health and so on. Um, but generally speaking, we, we, all, uh, we all require clean water, we all have every right to. Uh, to join in the struggle, and in fact, uh, we're, it's almost a, a duty not to stand by and allow this destruction to go on. But later, people are spearing, and I think that's what I'm saying in general terms, is that there are so many issues that unless non-Indian people begin to look up, then it's going to be too late for, uh, I mean, think about it. It's, we're not doomsayers. We can see when water is filthy, when water is so dirty you can't go near it. And this is the reality. And one of the recipients of this treatment are Indian people because that's where the resources are. There's tailings, cars all over the Navajo Reservation, radioactive. At any rate, we have some more information. And anybody who likes them, uh, be welcome to uh, come up and, and ask any questions. I guess we have to move on. And uh, thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> Break, Chris, if you're running into a little break. Okay, we're going to take a little break.